Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Monia, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe right now. As you can tell, my face is pretty one-dimensional, one color overall. Need something to kind of maybe, I don't know, like cut up my face and give me some nice cheeks, chic cheeks, and you know, some warmth, some color, just make me feel beautiful. So today I am reviewing, doing a first impressions on a new product, new brand that I heard because I was checking out one of Tati's videos and she briefly went over this brand. It's called Mascara Beauty. Just a quick overview on Mascara Beauty. Uh, it is owned by a female named Cara or Kara, sorry if I mispronounced it. Um, she started off as a beauty blogger and makeup artist and wanted to create her own brand where she can just continuously embrace beauty and show women that they are absolutely stunning and gorgeous regardless of their insecurities and flaws, which I love that empowerment. I think that's such a great positive atmosphere to present. So I purchased one of her contour palettes because I currently use the Fenty Beauty contour and I love it because it's an ashy color, um, more of a gray undertone so it gives me an actual shadow. I bought one of her um, contour palettes right here because she also had a cream color and I am running low on my Fenty Beauty contour stick so I was like let me try something new. Tati mentioned it. I was like, all right, let's take a stab at it. Let's see what we got. Um, so this is the Ash Contour. The ingredients are like literally minimal. It's like less than 10. Insane. Made in the US. It's a very tiny minimalistic packaging uh, aluminum container, which I love because I hate having bulky things. Like I think it's just so unnecessary to put all this like plastic and packaging around like, I just need the product. The simpler, the better for me. I love minimalistic products. Anyways, she has nine shades, and each shade is for $14. I will go ahead and put the link below to shop some of her products. She has a whole bunch of stuff, and it all looks stunning and gorgeous. So I thought I'd take a stab and, you know, just jump the gun and try one thing out. So we are going to go ahead and dive into Ash Contour so we can contour these cheeks and see what this is all about. So you slide the product up, and this does eventually come up, so if you don't want it coming off every time, you just be careful with that. And this is what the product looks like when you take it out. It has this like little pink thing in the middle, which I'm just assuming is like discoloration um, of some sort, maybe because the weather's changing drastically. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it really quick because I am t -t 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 talking too much. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. That is like super, super, super creamy. I feel like, like look at that. That's like a wet creaminess, so. And that little pink area is discoloration, so no big deal. Came, it was just like a little light layer on top. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it. So this is thick. It's thick, 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 thick. But I do love this color, it is Perfect, just what I needed, an ashy gray tone, undertone brown. So let's just get to contouring. I am gonna take my Morphe E8 brush. It's a very small, compact, little tiny brush. And I'm gonna start carving. I'm gonna tap it into there, get some on the brush. A little bit does go a long way. Like that's a lot of product. Like I don't need, I like subtle natural. Clearly. Wow, that is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. From like chubby cheeks to like cook. And I literally just went touch, touch, picked up some product. Gonna go ahead and outline where I'm trying to draw. Right, and then I'm just blending. That is like a dream. Mm -hmm. 
wow, that literally took me three minutes, if that, and that was absolutely stunning. This is such a beautiful, beautiful product. It's very thick and creamy. So if like thick and creamy is not you, girl, don't do it. But if you are looking something that's like compact as it can possibly be, you are looking to try out like a new uh, product, I would consider this clean beauty since nothing on this list is concerning. Um, although it is thick and creamy, which was a touch intimidating for me, it blended out like a dream. No patchiness, it wasn't skipping anywhere. This is very pigmented, very beautiful. It gives me that exact shade of um, ashy gray undertone that gives me that shadow effect, which I am living for, and it this really blew my mind. So if you're looking for a new contour shade, check out Mascara Beauty. I'm gonna go ahead and put their link below. This is stunning, easy to work with. All you need is just a dense brush like this to kind of mark it, and then you just blend it out ever, ever so lightly, and you can build it up, shear it down, and a little bit goes a long way. Please use a touch because you will be there being like, where else am I going with this product? Because a dab, as I showed you, did my entire cheek and it looked effortless. It looks so beautiful. That is all I have to say about this stunning product. Go ahead and check them out. Check out their contours. They are to die for. Love it. Can't wait to go ahead and check out what else Homegirl got, has on her website and maybe order a couple more things, you know, see what she got. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel by clicking on that red button below that says subscribe. And until next time, bye guys. Follow me. Made it clear that you're unhappy. Yeah. Go ahead and have your fun now. Just remember what goes around comes around.